Hello everyone, what is going on? Today we are going to do something really, really, really awesome. So, you might have uh, seen so many JavaScript tutorials, you might be practicing JavaScript for many years, but there is a thing in JavaScript which uh, you might don't know about. So, uh, today I am going to tell you about that. Yes, I am going to tell you about motion detection using JavaScript. Think about it, motion detection. You can create so many cool things in JavaScript if you uh, know how to work with motion detections. So, first of all, every device does not support motion detection. Yes, so you have to have proper hardware for that. Um, mostly the new smartphones are coming, all the Androids and iPhones, they have uh, this feature in them, they have accelerometer or gyrometer installed in them, so you can have uh, this, uh, uh, these kind of games working in those mobile phones, so on some laptops also have this, but very few, not every, so you have to make sure that uh, you use this on device which has this uh, motion detection support. So what we, we are going to make today? Today we are going to make uh, um, a ball, a bouncing ball, yes, a bouncing ball in a box. So let's see how we can make that and what's the code behind it we will understand everything in the code so please like comment share and subscribe i love you all for the previous support and uh, i hope you you are liking my videos if you have any suggestion please comment me i will definitely answer to you your questions and all your suggestions so let's see what's the code behind this so as you can see I have already written the HTML code, some CSS code and JavaScript code for this project. So I will uh, briefly explain everything what I have done here. So first of all we have a very basic HTML tags, title, head, you can understand them very well. So I don't think that there is much need to explain here. So if you don't understand, please comment me, I will create another video for this. Okay, next we have some styling and this styling is for a class where we will talk about it later. Okay, the main is the body tag, here our content starts. Here we have a div, which is just a container. And inside this div we have another div, which has an ID of sphere. So what is this sphere? This sphere is going to act like a ball which is moving up and down, left and right in every direction accordingly as uh, how we move our device up and down. So what is the styling of this? It is just a ball with the position absolute height width of 50%, border radius of, sorry, 50 per, not 50%, 50, 50 pixels, height uh, and uh, border of 50 pixel and background color of blue. You can change these values uh, uh, according to what you like, So, but keep it absolute. You have to remain, keep this absolute. Okay. So here is our sphere. We just close our div. Then we have some script tag. So please listen carefully what I am trying to explain you right now because uh, this is very important because you, you won't be able to understand it if you don't listen carefully okay so first of all we create variables x and y these are the actual position of ball in our screen so if x is equal to 0 and y equal to 0 if assume that this whole space is like my mobile phone screen so x0 y0 means this part this portion at the top left corner of my device this is the uh, x0 and y0 position and forget about these two variables right now vx and vy i'll tell you later what they are doing and forget about this two i will tell you later what they are for carefully focus on this x0 and y0 so means that at the beginning of this the ball will will be here somewhere here okay okay so here we create a variable sphere which is document dot get element by id which has name sphere so what is this this is this element we are just getting this element using javascript 
get element by id function it takes a parameter of id so here we have our sphere we just named it sphere okay now we have an if condition friends this if condition is very very important because uh, not every device uh, on the web has uh, gyrometer or accelerometer installed in it or working properly so first of all we have to check whether a uh, gyrometer or accelerometer is installed and is working properly so how to check we just write window dot device motion effect if the device motion is per perfectly working then this will not be equal to undefined and if the device does not support motion events this will be undefined so we are checking if it's not undefined it means that if it's working properly okay so perform this 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 code so what's inside this code okay first line of this code we have window dot on device motion it means whenever device whenever the device feels some motion it will generate it will perform this function okay it has an event parameter passed to it so all the information related to the event will be passed to this function now see carefully here we have a ax variable so what is this ax ax is nothing but it's an acceleration in of uh, which uh, is caused by the movement of our device so th this is the way to uh, get the value of this acceleration we pass event acceleration including gravity so whatever the event passed to it so acceleration due to gravity dot x star 5 so star means multiply by 5 we are just increasing the actual value which we get from this event and multiply it in it, it with 5 and same here we have a y when we have event dot excel acceleration including gravity dot y means acceleration in y direction multiply with 5 so we are increasing it by 5 times okay so we are done with these lines now come to this line set interval set interval is a javascript function which is uh, used to call a particular function again and again and again and again after a particular interval of time so this is our function which we are calling again and again after an interval of 25 millisecond so friends you can see 25 millisecond is a very small duration of time so this function will be called again and again and again and again very 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 fast okay so we are inside this function we are creating a where landscape orientation so what is this landscape orientation it is uh, just uh, checking whether you are in a portrait mode or a landscape mode uh, you have may have noticed in all android or uh, iphones there is a setting uh, called auto rotate or uh, maybe rotation lock which we can uh, uh, on and off so that our device will be in particular screen state so you might have get what I'm trying to say so it is just for it is just checking that if it is the way to check it if window ha if the width of window divided by uh, height of the window is greater than 1 then uh, this uh, variable will become true this variable will become true and if width is smaller than height then this variable will become false so when this variable is true it means this this portion will be called and uh, vx vx uh, is something which uh, tells in which direction we have to move so first of all we are moving in zero direction but then we increased it with this so we are moving in a particular direction so if we are if we are adding something to it it move in positive directions so as you can see x vx is moving in this and vy is moving in this and if the width is smaller than height then we have this code right here this code will run and uh, there's a just a small difference in this the position of vx vy and position of plus and minus so this will change the behavior of object in these two orientations so don't worry they are very easy you can uh, 
uh, hack them very easily you can tweak them according to your needs so don't worry this, this is not a big deal much so it will just change the behavior of how your ball works so how it behaves here uh, we are just uh, multiplying the vx on the directions to 9.8 you can use 1 2 don't use 1 because 1 will give again back the same value so you can use smaller than 1 greater than 1 again it will just change the behavior of ball how your ball behaves so you can change these values i choose these values because i like them so i choose these values okay so look at look at these two lines carefully here we are setting value of y coordinate of ball and x coordinate of ball how we are setting it we are taking the initial coordinate initially the these coordinates are 0 and 0 so we are adding something to 0 this this value again you can change this 50 by whatever you like i choose 50 because i like that value you can change it so we are changing 0 and adding this value to 0 and we are getting a new value of y and here we are setting x by the initially x is 0 and we are adding something to x so this becomes our new value of x so now here we are calling a function bounding checkbox sorry bounding box check what this function is doing actually this function is setting the bounds that uh, how much distance the ball can travel on your screen so what if your ball uh, start going to left of your screen and keep going left keep going left it uh, a time will come when it will become disappear from your screen because it it's go, it has gone far away to the left so that you can see because your device width is limited so this function is exactly doing that it is uh, stopping the ball to go away from your skin it uh, screen it will always be visible to the screen so how we are uh, doing this look at this here is this function definition first of all we are checking if x is smaller than 1 okay so x sorry x is smaller than 0 i'm sorry x is smaller than 0 we are checking so if x is 0 ball is somewhere in the here at the left but when uh, it will become smaller than zero it will get disappear okay my mouse cannot go there otherwise i will show you how it can disappear so it will become disappear so to make it not disappear we are setting it to zero if it's try to go there it will come back to zero as my mouse when it try to go to the left it come back to zero again i cannot move my mouse in the left direction more i can move it in right anywhere i want this is how it windows works i think so but it cannot go to the left okay so this maybe they are using the same algorithm like me and uh, here we what is this see this we are doing two things we are setting x equal to zero and we are changing vx to minus vx so why are we doing this so whenever you throw a ball on um, some surface on the floor uh, you see that it bounces so this part of it will create those bounce effects that is why vx is very 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 important quantity in this whole uh, project so vx is important set it to minus v it will create bouncing effects and uh, when y is smaller than 0 y is smaller than 0 mean when the uh, when your ball tries to go then very minus so you see the mouse of my see my mouse now it is at zero positions of y because it's very at the bottom but when it go more down it is going to the negative y direction negative y smaller than 0 y so it become disappear so to not making it disappear we are using this code whenever it try to go in the negative y direction we just set it to zero so whenever it try to go it will come back to zero whenever it try to go it will come back to zero so so that is the code for it but now here we are again we are setting vy equal to minus v so when the ball try to go in the negative direction it will jump like this as a, like this 
so again if the ball try to go oh yeah it will jump 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 like this bounce like a real ball so these two things are important these are for this negative x direction and negative y direction but what if we try to go in the positive y direction and positive x direction this is the code okay so this is the code for that whenever x becomes greater than uh, this particular constant document element dot client width it will give the width of uh, uh, users document so whenever user uh, I use 20 here you can see minus 20 you can change whatever you want but it was making my project look much better so I used 20 so if I try to uh, take mouse as a ball again and if I try to move my ball away it will come back and jump like this so how it's going to happen again the same we are setting it to the maximum value of our width and setting vx equal to minus vx and the same for y whenever it try to go to the top very top again top 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 so it will whenever it try to go to the uh, top of the my uh, document it will make it equal to the height of my document yani ki it means it cannot escape this yeah this wall it will create a wall like a, something like a wall so it cannot escape this and we again we are setting v y equal to minus v y so that it will create the boing 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 jumping effect so it is very easy as you can see it's not much so and here we just close the script close the body and close the html I know that uh, this is very much and uh, maybe you cannot uh, didn't understand about these small 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 values but don't worry uh, watch the video again I hope you will understand it so don't you know what is the best way to best way of programming think very 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 patiently patience is very important so whenever you have to solve a problem have patience in you study the problem and try to figure out the solution of it so this was the problem and this is the solution so, tr or, so study this solution and uh, if you need any further help please comment me and I will try to give you an answer so hope you like this project and I will also show you its demo in my uh, Android mobile phone so please wait for a second I hope you enjoyed the video and please support us by like, share and subscribe to our channel and uh, for any queries please comment me in the comment section I will definitely try to answer them and uh, please tell me something more about what new topic should I include so that uh, you can learn more and I can teach more so thank you for the next time good luck.